All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. All right, so this is the only picture I could find of these two, Rachel and Elijah Cummings, right? So, um, yeah, you guys already know what happened. Rachel um, got emotional and uh, and was crying about um, what's going on at the borders uh, for the illegal immigrants and uh, for those that are trying to come in uh, illegally and the separation of parents and children. Now, she and, that's, and you know what's funny was that people on social media, especially Facebook, were like, "And the Oscar goes to Rachel." <laughs> Uh, well, how do you say your last name? Uh, Mad Maddo Mado or something like that. So Rachel Mado, I think that's her name. Um, she's been on TV for years, guys and girls. She's never cried about the children till now, right? So until now, she cares about the you know, and she's crying about the the illegal immigrants that are that are being separated from parents, which is a which is a bad thing. Illegal immigrants, uh, children should never be separated from the parents, right? But why does it take you till Trump is in office to cry about this thing when it was happening under Obama? You knew it was happening under Obama. You were on television. You never said anything. Elijah Cummins, the same thing. He was he was uh, he was talking about all this crap the other day, and I even went on his on his Twitter, and I said, Elijah, you've been in office for how long? You remember this thing being signed in 1996, uh, a separation of children on the borders by Bill Clinton? You never spoke out about. It. I never saw you spoke speak out about this stuff even when george bush was implementing this stuff at the borders you would never you was never you was always quiet rachel you've been on television for years where were you guys at like you guys were never crying and and, and sad about this stuff and i even posted under uh elijah cummings twitter i said maybe because you were making money off of these children maybe you were making money off of uh, these children being um, put into human trafficking and human and all types of other things that you could have done with these children hmm, at the borders. And now that because Trump's in office and he's getting any he, and he's um, you know, and he's stopping the pedophile, the pedophilia and the human trafficking. And he's removing all of these things out of uh, out, out of the government and out of these uh, and out of America. And, it's, and maybe it's now the money is drying up for these things or it's being exposed and you have a big problem with it. So you want to turn it around and say, wait a minute, the children are being separated at the borders and it's under Donald Trump. How can Donald Trump allow this to happen? Right. Because now because now the money's drying up from this stuff. Right. So now you're being now all the people are being exposed for pedophilia and human trafficking under Obama, you will you didn't say anything when when they were when Obama and his administration was doing human trafficking at the borders. I even spoke about this on Facebook years ago. People told me to shut up, <laughs> you know, and and, and 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 shut up and go away. Right when I had my eyes open, media Facebook ch uh, page on Facebook, we were talking about the stuff at the borders. So this thing, this thing has been happening for years. No one cared until the media finally wanted to care because Donald Trump was in office and they wanted to use Donald Trump as the scope gate, right? Because under Bush, Obama, and Clinton, the media knew this was going on and they were probably participating. Maybe they were even funding it as well, you know? And now under Donald Trump and things are being things are being you know people are going to jail for for a lot of this stuff and things are turning and they don't see any type of new world order in sight they are very angry so now the money's drying up from this stuff and whatever they were doing uh, at the borders so and and now border patrol is at the borders right because before it looked like you could just walk on into america back then now border patrol is actually doing their job uh, uh you know trump actually sent more forces to the borders and so now you can't do what you were doing last time. And it reminds me of Iraq, right? When 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 the world started watching Iraq closely, and the United Nations and the and the IMF and the BIS and the World Bank and the U.S. Treasury and all of these other countries were watching every move of Iraq. What happened? Iraq said, "Oh my God, this is not fair. We're being treated wrong." Like they they try to switch it up and say that they've been treated badly. Look at the war. Look at what we've been through, right? Because they were corrupted. 
So now that the world is watching every all their moves, they couldn't be as corrupted anymore. And so they said, poor us, right? They went to the sympathy thing. And you guys saw it because I brought thousands upon thousands of articles on this channel and Crunchy365 about that, right? So it's the same thing happening now. The money, whatever they were doing at the border, the human trafficking, the pedophilia, all the other stuff that they were doing, the money is drying up and people are going to jail. So now it's now they're saying, well, let's flip it around. Let's say, okay, children are being um, children are being separated, which has already been happening for what we're coming up on eighteen years, <laughs> you know, like like or, or long way, like way longer than eighteen years. This is nineteen ninety six, okay. So, it, I mean, twenty two years or, or more, like. Now we now we want to say, well, no, 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 it's it, uh, it's under Donald Trump. Donald Trump's doing. Donald Trump's in office. He's the president. Why are children being separated? <laughs> and 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 the people of America that don't that don't want to read laws, that don't want to, that don't know anything about executive orders, that that can barely read. They they're like, oh my God, I can't believe Donald Trump is allowing this at the borders, right? That's what you're seeing on social media. They're, How dare Donald Trump? allow these things at the borders to continue right because they they're brainwashed they, they they don't they don't know they don't know the laws of america and they don't know the executive orders that have been passed throughout america they don't know so they don't care either so they'll believe anything that the media says so when rachel is crying on television for the first time ever and she's been on television for years and she knows about the law she knows about what's been going on in the borders and she's never cried before that should that should be a warning sign. Like, okay, you're doing this on purpose. You're 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 trying to receive an Oscar here, and you're basically you're trying to make Donald Trump look bad because you you don't like Donald Trump, right? So you don't like the presidency of Donald Trump. Same thing for Elijah Cummings, right? Elijah Cummings has been, you know, been in office for what thirty years more. He knows this law has been signed since 1996. He knows it's been enforced throughout the, all the presidencies. He knows this has been going on for years. But he chose this now because Donald Trump's in office, uh, and this is what the media is talking about, to try to pounce on this so people can have a different mindset because God knows they don't want Donald Trump to, to run again. And, lo, no, and they also don't want Donald Trump to win. I And, and you know, for me personally, like I told you guys before, I am not a big Donald Trump fan, um, but I don't I don't dislike him. I don't like I, and I don't hate him, right? Because I don't hate anybody. I don't I don't hate Rachel. I don't hate uh, Elijah Cummings. I just know their game. I know their propaganda. I know their 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 New World Order puppets. I know so I know that they're going to to do this and try to pretend that these laws weren't passed 20 years ago. They're going to pretend that these laws weren't being effective and this thing wasn't happening just four years ago under Obama, right? So they're, they're, they're here to pretend. They're here to deceive, right? So I don't hate them. They're doing their job, okay? They're doing their job to try to bring in a new world order. That's the end goal for the media. The liberal media and even some of the conservative media, regardless what it is, even some of the independent media, the end goal is to bring in a new world order. So they cannot bring in a new order unless they flood in refugees and immigrants into America. <laughs> and that's exactly what Hillary Clinton was going to do, right? She had plans on flooding in, I think it was 200 million refugees into America within eight years because she thought she was going to win again, okay? I think that was, I think it was like 200 and... Well, I think the first couple of years was like 64 million refugees. You know how, you know what chaos would, <laughs> America would not even look what it is. America wouldn't, we, we wouldn't be, I wouldn't actually be talking to you guys right now if Hillary Clinton had won the presidency. Let's put it that way. Because America would have been, I mean, they would have flooded. I mean, they, I think they had like 14 million refugees on standby just in case Hillary Clinton won. That they were going to start bringing into the country immediately. So you can already tell that they were going to destroy America immediately when Hillary Clinton had won the presidency, right, with refugees. And also, not just that, but we would have went to war, with, we would have started World War III and we went to war with Russia and China and, and all the people, you know. Now, Iran wouldn't have been as powerful as it's going to be in the future for World War III. So maybe we would, we could have, you know, we were supposed to lose World War III now, right? That's the prophecy. But 
we could have probably won World War Three, even with Hillary Clinton in office, but we would have had nothing left to show for. Yeah, we won, but everything's destroyed. You know what I mean? Because, you know, if we did go to World War Three, let's say when Hillary got in presidency, we would be absolutely dominant, right? Because we, we would, you know, we're, you know, now, of course, Obama did shrink the military like crazy. So I am thinking about the military that we have now that Trump rebuilt and brought in about, made 50% more stronger because Obama had us, I mean, when Obama was off, left office, I mean, our military was very, very small. Like, it was the smallest we've ever had in since, I think, World War One or something like that. So, uh, and then Trump comes in office, people are signing up to the military, people are signing up to do uh, to do um, all types of events in the military again, and all th things, things like that. So, the military I'm thinking about is the one Trump's under, so I need to talk about the one Obama was under. So under Obama, so yeah, that was a weaker military, and uh, but I think you know even even if Hillary Clinton did go to war, we probably would have still won, but it would have been nothing to show for. America would have been desolated. Uh, China, everybody, everybody would have been desolated, right? And three fourths of the world would be dead. So it doesn't wouldn't even matter, <laughs> right? <laughs> so it, it just wouldn't matter, you know. Who cares? Who cares if you win with every everything's gone, right? Um, so yeah, so that's what, that's what the end game is. So Rachel's crying because she wants a new world order. She's not crying about the children. She knew about this for years. She knew about it in 2006 and 1996. This is what they do. They're politicians. If I know about it, I'm not a politician. Of course they know about it, right? They know about all the executive orders and laws. They know what's going on at the borders. She's not crying for the children, guys and girls. That's a deception. She's crying because she they, they want a new world order so bad, <laughs> and people are dying off. Okay, uh, uh, um, Mrs. Bush Senior died right this year. Uh, President Bush Senior is on the verge of dying, like, and he's the one that announced the new world order will come, and he they will be successful, and they want it, they want this thing so bad that they will go out there on television and cry and pretend they care about children, but yet they love. Uh, what is it? Planned Parenthood, which kills billions of children every year, and they promote it and they fund <laughs> Planned Parenthood. So you're 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 being deceived by people that don't like children. First of all, many of these people are pedophilia are are in the pedophilia ring. So to tell me that they that they that she cares about children is ridiculous. She knows it's been going on for years. She knows about the pedophilia in Hollywood. Why is she crying about that? She, has she ever cried about black on black children that are being killed by by police and they don't even have any and they, they, they don't they, they don't even have, they're unarmed? Has she cried about anything in America? <laughs> so tell me, so, so let me guess. She's been on air and she doesn't she doesn't cry about America, but she cries about people that are not American. So that's what the media like. The media is telling you that they don't care about American citizens. They are more. They care more about people that are not Americans, because that's the only way they're going to be able to have a new world order. They can't be pro-America. That's not a new world order. They have to destroy America. And if they if that takes deceiving the crap out of you to do it, then that's what they're going to do, and that's what they're doing now. So you got all these people. Especially you black people, you bronze people. How dare you? <laughs> how dare you? Uh, uh, you know, care about this woman, and and you see the way America is treating your people. <laughs> like even today, you know, the black and bronze people are the bottom of the totem pole, and there's a system created to destroy you. You're eating GMOs and fast food and poison products that they're feeding you. And yet you are out here lashing out about children and and your own children and your own community and your own people are being poisoned and destroyed every day in this country. And you're caring more about people that are outside of America that are not even your color, you know, or your race or whatever you want to call it. Like it's ridiculous. I see I seen I seen more black people on social media so angry about about oh my god separation of children yet their children, their communities, their their peoples are at the bottom of the totem pole and they don't care at all. It's unbelievable the deception of the media. You know, the media 
the media can can chair for 20 years a law and then all of a sudden somebody else gets in the office and then they can spin it and say oh my god this is a terrible law and they think that they can just forget the 20 years that they've been on television absolutely not caring or even caring about that law because they know that people are not gonna do their research and they know it's gonna be a small number of people like me that come on here and speak about it. Just a small number, so it won't be a lot. The majority of people will believe the media regardless of what they say and they will be sympathizing. Oh my God, she's crying on television. This is so sad that the children are being separated from their parents at the borders. Not realizing that that's been going on since 1996. <laughs> right and no one cared at all and many of these parents are absolutely uh giving up their children at the borders by the way right many of these children are going into these camps to be uh, some of these camps to be protected from human trafficking as well and prostitution and pedophilia as well but they, they're not going to tell you that part about it right they're just going to tell you that children are being separated from their parents they won't tell you why. They won't tell you anything. They, they, they will just cry because they know that you will believe anything they put on television. You will believe every anything they put on television. You guys, many of you guys are going to believe. 90% of you guys are going to believe everything they put on television. It doesn't matter what it is. They could say somebody killed themselves. Then, you know, this actress killed herself. This person killed themselves in a hotel. You'll believe anything they say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you, you, they know that. They know that you, they know you guys will believe anything, even when they come out and say that they have lied for years. Like old boy did on, on uh, whatever, it was it NBC? Brian, not Brian, not, it wasn't Brian Gumbel. It was somebody, it was the other guy. Well, maybe, I don't know. It was some it was one of those guys, right, that you saw every day for years, and he was lying out of the, he was lying every day for 10, 20 years, right? And, and so these guys will then come out and say, ah, oh, man, I lied about this. I lied about that. I lied about that. Matter of fact, I lied about everything. Even Greg Hunter. Greg Hunter used to work for CNN. And he said CNN actually used to do real reporting <laughs> back in the 70s and 80s <laughs> and early 90s. And then all of a sudden, they said, no more. We're going to do propaganda. And he was working for CNN, right? And he said that all it was was staged propaganda every time. And he had to get out of there. That's why he left CNN. This is why a lot of people are leaving CNN, right? Because it's staged and propaganda fake news, right? So it's no longer real news. They're staging everything because they want you to be deceived and they want you to turn on your own country and hate America. That's the end goal. The end goal is to for citizens of America to, to accept bringing in 40, 50, 100 million other people that are not Americans to destroy the culture of America, to destroy the history of America and bring in a new world order because they know that as soon as you open those gates, those floodgates in, it will not stop and the American economy will be destroyed and you will then have to accept the new world order and the dollar will crash. That's the end game of, this, of, of the media. That's the end game, right? So what they're doing now is they want those, they want the borders to be, they, they want people to be able to come in into America at all, like at any time, all times, no checks, no nothing. And they want them to get, they want the government to feed them, close them, and and house them because they know the more the government is feeding, clothing, and housing, the more we are, the faster America will crumble. See, and this is why Germany is going through their problems now. This is why France is going through their problems. This is why Spain. This is why Denmark. This is why Italy, because they are they're there. They're the governments have to now feed clothe and house all of these refugees 
Why do you think this, the Middle East didn't want them? Saudi Arabia don't want the refugee. They on the day, you know, all these, Dubai doesn't want them, right? Dubai's like, you ain't going to come into to the country we built here. This, this we, we're, we're living wealthy, man. We, we don't, we're not flooding in refugees into Dubai. Are you crazy? You know what I mean? So all of these countries in the Middle East don't, didn't want the refugees because they understand they can't take care of them. So, they go to they to, so the refugees and it's also planned to to make you know the new world order told them not to take them anyways okay because the plan is to move all the refugees into the western world and collapse the western world this is why we keep talking about the reset and how the reset is going to go back to biblical days and the east is going to be powerful than the west and more wealthier than the west like in biblical days Right? Because they're going to collapse the Western world with the refugees and with the debt and all the things that are going on and with war as well. The the end the end goal is gonna be war because you know we're gonna America's gonna fight to the tooth on the refugees and, and all these other laws. So the end goal is gonna have to be war. You know, Europe is going to crumble because Europe Europe has already received the refugees. They're trying to now stop the refugees from coming in. They're putting up borders. You know, I mean, goodness gracious, if they had just listened to us five years ago when we said do not do this, they they wouldn't have this problem now. But now Europe has a big problem. Now, the, you know, these refugees are walking down the street demanding Sharia law. <laughs> you know, like... It's a wrap for Europe. All you're going to see is Europe start to go down even fastly, and you're going to see the euro continue to crash even a lot faster. And then they're going to look. Everybody's going to look at America, and they're going to say, "America, you better open your your borders up." Or they're going to say, or they're going to say, "You know what? We'll wait on America because Donald Trump can only be in office for eight years at the max. We'll wait on America, and then we'll make sure." that a liberal gets in there next and then that liberal whoever that is will will uh, will undo all the laws that donald trump did and he will they will open the borders and 200 million refugees will then pour into america and america will then be in civil war and then all of the countries that hate america around the world will attack america while they're in civil war you see how that works now it sucks that somebody like me has to has to break this down for society and for people because all they care about is a woman crying but they don't see the and this is why i'm a decoder right this is why i'm a decoder though this is why i'm an elite decoder because i can decode these things and i've been trained to decode these things right that's what I, that's what I do. I'm an elite decoder. I can decode a lot. Matter of fact, when I was on when we were doing videos on Iraq on on, on currency 365, I would decode the articles right in front of you guys. <laughs> you guys would be like, man, what does this mean? What does this mean? And I would decode it right in front of you guys. I said, oh, it means that they're gonna do this on next Tuesday or by next Wednesday. This is gonna come out, and then we see it, <laughs> right? So this woman crying and, and, and Elijah Cummins, you know. Being ain't fake, man. These guys, these guys, people, they don't care about any of this stuff. This is all acting. This is why people are like, yo, give them an Oscar, right? It's all acting. They could care less about these things, right? But they have to act because they have to persuade you to hate your own country. And that's what's going to happen. Many people are going to hate America. That they, they live in America, but they're going to hate their own country because of the media. They're not going to hate the country because of their neighbors, their family members, because nothing has changed. They're going to hate their own country because of the media. That's how powerful the media is. The, the media will make you stop on an American flag and you ain't, and ain't done nothing to you. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So that's what's going to happen. So when once this topic is over, because Donald Trump did sign something uh, today or yesterday, right? He did sign something about the borders. So now that he, Donald Trump has signed something, will they can now talk? Now they're going to move on to something else. And next week, they're going to have another thing. Oh, Donald Trump was standing on top of a hotel building, uh, you know, eating a, a cheeseburger. Oh, my God. You know, men, mental health. <laughs> like they, This is what they do. 
and they're going to continue to look they did it they did this under obama obama was every single month they were something new about obama right and obama couldn't catch a break right they they this is what they do <laughs> okay so it's not just donald trump they were doing it under obama right <laughs> Oh my God. So, I mean, this is what, this is what happens. This is what the media does. If you do things that, that don't benefit the new world order, they're going to, they're, they're going to come after you. They're going to come after you. And because Donald Trump does not want a new world order inside of America. Now, now let me repeat, let me, let me, let me back up on that because does Donald Trump want a new world order? I think Donald Trump does want a new world order, but he wants it on his own terms. He wants it in a different way. He wants a new order, but he doesn't want it the way that the other elitists, the other secret societies want the new world order. Okay, so let me let me, let me back that up because, you know, Donald Trump probably does want a new world order, but he doesn't want it the way that they want it. Okay, and so that's the fighting that's going on. Everybody wants the new world order, right? All the elitists want a new order, but they want it and they want it a different way. And so they're fighting Donald Trump. And they're fighting others like Putin and stuff because they they see the world differently. They see the world, a new world order in a different light than they do. And so they want, so what these people on television want, they want a new world order where America is destroyed, right? And the Western world is, is destroyed and, and they can bring, and they can bring it and they can just have whatever they want. They can purge, they can be savages, they can kill, steal, destroy, they can, they can do pedophilia, they can do uh, all, every type of sickness, uh, sick things they want to do, they can do it without being judged, that's what they want, that's, that's the new order they want, right, and they want the dollar to die, they, and, and they want to bring in something else, they want the microchip, they want everybody microchip, they want people controlled, that's the new world order they want, right, Donald Trump doesn't want that type of new world order, and so they're fighting against each other, right, they're fighting against each other, and that's when, and that's what it is. That's all it is. At the end of the day, it's not about the children. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's not about anything. It's about the new world order and how it's going to function. That's all it is. At the end of the day, right? How is the new world order going to function? Is it going to function the way Donald Trump and others want it to function, or is it going to function the way the liberals and others want it to function? And so they're battling. That's the battle. That's the battle that they're battling, right? That's the battle that Clinton and Obama and, and these people right here are battling against Donald Trump. Now, back in 1991, Barack Obama did an, did an essay about saying that the American dream was Donald Trump. Did you guys see that? <laughs> um, my boy Snippy, he, uh, he posted it on his, uh, on his YouTube channel. And uh, he talked about how President Obama wrote an essay back in, I think it was 1991, that the American dream was Donald Trump, <laughs> right? And now he's warring against Donald Trump, right? <laughs> but the, back then, the American dream was Donald Trump. But now he's warring against Donald Trump because he doesn't see the world like that anymore because he's now on the other side, right? He probably was always on the other side, but he now, because he became president and because he he's underneath the new world order, He's a new world order puppet. He doesn't see the world like Donald Trump anymore. Right? So that's all it is. It's all about how they see the new world order, how they see the Antichrist kingdom. That's it. They all want a new world order. But it's a different way they want it. They want it structured. And so they're fighting and warring between that. That's that's all it is. And they're gonna use the they're gonna use the media to do that. They're gonna use um, innocent children. They're gonna use innocent people. They're gonna use your minds because guess what? The new world order and the antichrist system is mind control. Yes, there will be a rise of an antichrist, right? There will be somebody that the Pope that brings into power. The false Pope brings somebody into power. Yes, that does happen. But but the New World Order antichrist system is mind control, <laughs> you know, because that's how they're going to be able to make the system. There's, you can't go from what we are, what we are now to a New World Order antichrist system without mind control. They're going to have to control people's mind to, to let them fall, to have to let America fall to bring this new system in, the new, this New World Order antichrist system in.
That's why they're doing the mind control. And then once they have you mind control, you must take the microchip technology and you must worship the beast, which is the antichrist system and the antichrist, right? So they worship the beast and his image. So you're worshiping the beast system and his image, meaning the person that they rise to be the antichrist. And so the Bible says in Revelations that those who take the mark of the beast and worship the beast and his image shall be thrown into the lake of fire. Hmm. A lot of people are going to take the microchip because they're going to be under mind control. See, this is why, see, the Bible says that most of the world will be deceived and take the microchip and worship the beast and his image. But why is that? Because right now, most of the world would not take the, the microchip. If, if the world is introduced to microchip, most of us will say, uh, H-E-L-L, no, right? I'm not putting that microchip in my hand. So why will we be then taking, why would most of the world take the microchip? It's because they're going to wear you down, they're gonna wear you out, and they're going to mind control the mind. And that's gonna take you into a place of fear that you can't do nothing without the microchip. And so you're going to, you're going to bend the rules. You're going to, you, you, you're, you're going to sell your soul for the microchip technology and the, and, and worship the beast and his image. That's how most of the world is going to do it. They're going to wear you out and then they're going to mind control you like they're doing now. Right? This is the beginning of the mind control where they cry, a fake cry on television. They tell you about the children. They want to open the borders and flood in the borders uh, of America to destroy America and bring civil war and civil unrest in America to destroy the economy and bring in a new world order. And then they'll bring in the, then they'll write the, the rise of the antichrist and the market, the beast system where you will be forced to take the microchip technology. But all it can't, that can't happen unless you're brainwashed, unless you're under mind control, right? So there you go. That's the plan. That's the end goal. The end, that's the end goal, right? That's the end goal of these people. Rachel, Elijah, I mean, uh, Elijah Cummings, all of these people, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and all these other people, their end goal is to have America destroyed, bring in the, the new world order with the antichrist system and for everybody to take the microchip and fall into the lake of fire. Because they know they're going there. <laughs> like they don't plan on changing. So they want to bring everybody with them and they want everybody controlled. You know, well, that's one, one of the most things, that the mo most part about it is, is the control they, they're going to have right the elites want con complete control over the world right and if they can put a microchip in you and see where you're going where you are all the time 24 hours a day that's what they're going to do and that's what they will do so it's going to be up to us those that are still alive or up to our children or up to our grand whoever is in this antichrist system it's going to be up to them to make that decision right it could be us because most of us are young enough to be in the, to, to actually see the Antichrist system. It might be another 20, 30 years, but it, it will happen at some point because we're getting close to microchips, right? We already have microchips in, that are going, that, that, that are being demanded in Europe. In Switzerland, they're already demanding people to have microchips to work at certain jobs. You can, I mean, just go on YouTube and you'll see it for yourself, you know? So it's already going around. They already have it in Australia as well. So it's, it's, it's going to be all over. Right now, it's probably 5% of the world has microchips in them, right? And it's going to continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger until they're going to then force you to take the microchip or they're going to kill you, right? That's the end goal of, of all of this. So don't be, don't, don't be caught up with, with, with the crying and the acting of the media. Their end goal is to is to mind control. Because their end goal is a new world order and the Antichrist system. And that's biblical prophecy, right? So we have to understand that if that's biblical prophecy, if that's revelation, it's going to happen, regardless if we fight it or not. Regardless if we pray or not, it's still gonna happen. It's biblical prophecy to happen, right? 
we just I just want you guys, including myself, to understand what's going on and not fall for any of this stuff because I want you guys in heaven with me, right? I want to be in heaven. You guys want to be in heaven. That's why you're on this channel, Eyes Open Media, right? So we want we don't want to be deceived. We want to get to heaven. That's the end goal. We want to get to heaven. You know, we don't want to take no microchips. We don't want to we don't want to sell our souls. We don't want to do anything like that. We want to be informed and not deceived and we want to make it to heaven cuz that's our end goal. Their end goal is, is destruction and, and antichrist system. Our end goal is to make it to heaven, to be up there with Yeshua and the Holy Spirit and the Father, Abba, and all of the, all of our guardian angels and the, and all of the cherubim, the beautiful cherubim angels and military angels and all of the angels that are in heaven and all the creations that are in heaven. That is that's what we that's our end goal, right? Their end goal is something different, <laughs> right? So we, we got to keep it. We, we got to make sure that that we don't fall for their end goal. We fall. We, we continue to to thrive on our destiny and our end goal because our end goal is very important. Right. Their end goal is destruction and death. Our end goal is life. Right. And life with the living God, the true living God. Right. So I just want to make sure that's clear. 36 minute video, but that had to be talked that, you know, I had to make sure that was clear to you guys because I'm seeing a lot of people out there, man. They, they're going off. They, they're going off on this more. I mean, I mean, and, and the, I mean, goodness gracious, you would think that they were, they were illegal immigrants themselves, but they're not, <laughs> you know, and like, like, like when, where, where's that passion for your own community? You know, it's like, that's kind of weird. You know, where's that passion for your own people? You know? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me, you know? Like, you care more about illegals than you do your own people? That doesn't make any sense to me. You know? And, and that's be, and see, that's just, that's that, that's how they get you. That's how they get you in that mind control. Because now you care more about illegals that you don't even know, but your own people that you see every week, every day, every other, you don't, you don't care as much as them. You won't shout and scream for them like you do people you've never met. That's mind control. That's what I'm, you guys got to, you guys got to understand what's going on. <laughs> They're making you cry and scream about people and children that you've never met. And you don't even know more than you do your own, your own community. Right? So we gotta, we gotta make sure we, uh, <laughs> we, we don't, we don't fall for the trap. Okay. So that's it. I open media. Hope you guys are doing well. It's all love at the end of the day, because I want everybody in the side of light, everybody in the side of, uh, of, of righteousness and, uh, those that want to be in the side of darkness, um, we don't rock with you point blank and simple. All right. So get on out of here. <laughs> Peace out. God bless. Eyes open. Bye.